The first thing that I noticed about her was her hair, blonde, spaghetti straight, plunging to the middle of her back. No professional shoulder length bob for this woman. And she was tall, probably six feet without heels, I guessed. She was wearing sunglasses, blue jeans, black sleeveless top, and sandals, and her arms were long and slender and tanned. Carolyn, this is rich, John said. Rich Carolyn. <laughs> you know what this seems like this seems relating to what to what I was just listening to on the radio. <laughs> She said hello and looked right at me and smiled. It was quite a smile. See, so, uh, what I was just listening to, and I'm, I'm having flashbacks. You know, stuff about, you know, what's going on now in the, or has been going on for a long time in the professional sports world. And since we're in baseball season, uh, it's topical to talk about baseball. And A-Rod, um, I said I heard an odd quote by him once. I believe it was on the radio. I, I, and, and he said, I'm biracial, I'm handsome, and I'm rich. You know, it seemed like a weird thing to say. And and I, in fact, think, and, and I also said David Wright said something weird once, going back in 2011. I'm the bi biggest superstar in history, or something something like that. I happened to see a part of an interview that he gave, um, you know, after a game. So, um, so these are odd things to say. And now I'm thinking, these are things that these women, or, or somebody... I, women and men, you know, who are co coercing them into sexual encounters. These are the things that they think about these these superstars, right? They were just like sort of saying, "Well, these I guess they're women. These women think, and probably men too." But but I, and also shirt off. Yeah. So when I got out of um. After, after I got out of this program, 2000, so we're talking about 2006, and I had gotten out of this day program. I had to go to this program at the Ocean Mental Health from the time I got out of the hospital, September 2005 to March 2006. I finally got out. I got a job, a part-time job, working at Master Memorials, a tombstone marker place, you know. They, they um, you know, take orders for, you know, tombstones, uh, and people come in. So, you know, and just order their tombstones or whatever. So, and I only worked a couple days a week. I made like $500 a month. But the point is, at that time, one time, um, I didn't go to work because of something. I had, I think I, I had not told the truth. Something to do with my air conditioning or something. And I, 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 uh, I didn't tell the truth. I, I told her, but it didn't work or something. Ah, okay, so now, now we're frozen. Again. 